a single numeric value point estimate three sample size increases the variability among the sample mean so whenever sample size increases variability or the shape of the distribution becomes narrower which means variability decreases so 400 people were asked 300 said yes so point estimate of proportion of population who will respond yes so 300 divided by 400 is 0 0.75 how many different samples of size 3 from 10? So we use combination formula C O M B I N. So this should give you 120. There are 120 ways you can select 3 out of 10. 6. Purpose of statistical inference is to provide information about sample based on so we are not interested finally in the sample population based upon information contained in sample so this looks appropriate seven the probability distribution of all possible values of the sample mean x bar so the name we give is sampling distribution of x bar population with a variance of 900 so variance means sigma square equals 900 so calculate sigma by taking square root we get 30 sample of 225 so sample size 225 the margin of error at 95 percent confidence so 95 percent confidence means 1 minus alpha equals point 0.95 and z alpha by 2 for 0.95 we know is 1.96 so margin of error so remember the formula is x bar plus minus z alpha by 2 sigma over square root of n and this part is called margin of error so if you calculate this will be 1.96 times 30 and square root of 225 so this will give you 3.92 in developing interval estimate if the population standard deviation is unknown so this is sigma unknown so when sigma is unknown we use sample standard deviation the t value with 95 percent confidence and 24 degrees of freedom so we generally use this formula equals t i n v alpha and n minus 1 in this case this is 0 0.05 and degrees of freedom is 24 itself so if you put those values we get 2.064 after computing confidence interval the user believes results are meaningless because the width is too large which one of the following is the best recommendation so if the width is too large what can we do increase the level of confidence for the intervals decrease the sample size that will make it even wider increase the sample size so this looks like correct answer because once you increase the sample size you get more accurate estimates in general higher confidence level provides so if confidence level is higher we always get wider confidence intervals n equals 121 x bar 65 and sigma so this is known standard deviation of the population so sigma 22 now standard error so sigma of x bar 
will be 22 divided by square root of 121 which is 11 so you get 2 so m equals 49 average x bar 84 so variance s square 12.25 which means standard deviation is square root of that is 3.5 1 minus alpha 0.95 so because this is a sigma not known case we need t alpha by 2 so you can get this by t i n v so 49 minus 1 48 that's the degrees of freedom you get 2.0106 so 95 percent confidence interval will be average 84 plus minus if you do the math 1 in hypothesis testing if null hypothesis is rejected no conclusion can be drawn so that's not true alternative hypothesis is true so if a null which is h0 is rejected then obviously h a or the alternative is true the error of rejecting a true null hypothesis is called so actually this is called type 1 error the hypothesis testing procedure so in that alpha is it is also called risk level or level of significance so level of significance is another name of alpha a soft drink filling machine when in perfect adjustments fills bottles with 12 ounce of soft drink any overfilling underfilling results in shutdown or readjustment of the machine to determine whether or not machine is properly adjusted the correct hypothesis is so we are checking if if it is exactly 12 or not if you look clearly here h0 is mu equals 12 and h a is mu is not equal to 12 so because equal is always with h0 you can see d is correct we cannot have this C because equal sign cannot be with H A. Similarly, this doesn't look like correct given the situation. And this also cannot be correct because equal sign cannot be with H A. Manager of automobile dealership is considering new plan to increase sales. Currently, the mean sale rate per salesperson is 5 automobiles per month so the new plan should help to increase the sales so they are checking or researching whether this will work or not so mu greater than 5 should be in ha so mu greater than 5 should be in ha so this looks like correct answer test statistic so this is s so this is sigma unknown case so for sigma unknown test statistic is given by t equals this equals x bar is 50 u0 is 54 s is 16 n is 64 so you simplify this you get negative 2 